This is Rack Noble here with Boxing UK. Oh God, I'm here God, with God. Mick Conlon. Uh, Mick, a few words, how's it going? Oh, good, Rack has things, Mick. Yeah, it's good. Uh, finally, good to see you face to face, not just on the podcast on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tell us, what's been happening with you lately? Um, nothing much, mate. I'm back in the gym, uh, training for a fade in August, back in Belfast. So, yeah, I'm good. So, of course, last time out, you had that epic encounter, 12 round thriller up on the cards. Anything happened in the fight, one punch can turn it around. Uh, just talk us through what's been happening since and how you felt with the fight. Yeah, listen, the fight went how the fight went. Um, you know, I felt great throughout. Uh, and then, you know, last round, I, I was just more fatigued than anything. And, you know, the one punch changed the whole thing and you know, I was knocked out. So, first time I've ever been knocked out in my career, so a bit hard to take. But, you know, it's boxing. Uh, I was actually all right as soon as I was on the ground. Um, you know, people, people, it was kind of made out much worse than what it was. Um, but, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So of course I saw a picture on Twitter yesterday. You're back in the gym, looking good, looking sharp. Yeah, back in the gym. Um, big fade August. You know I'm looking forward to that. Um, I can't say who yet. It's already done. So the the Twitter matchmakers can't you know keep keep shouting out and trying to match make me. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, the fight's been done for a while, and you know we're looking forward to announcing very soon. Uh, could you give us any hints or clues into what kind of fight? Eight rounder, ten rounder, possibly for a title? Is it a name? Uh, a little bit, ten or twelve. Um, uh, everybody will know who it is uh, once it's announced, but it'll be ten or twelve. He's not from the UK, so everybody keeps dropping the UK names. He's not from the UK. So of course, you did mention you would be interested with a rematch with Lee Wood. Is that something still in your radar, or do you feel you're going to go on another pathway now with your own career? Uh, 100% still on the radar. If the opportunity came to take it, I'd take it right now. Um, I'd have no doubt and no fear of taking that. Uh, I believe if it happened again, you know, the right decision would happen for me. And um, Yeah, it's, it's something that we're still trying to explore, but Lee's got his own situation with WBA purse bids being caught with Leo Santa Cruz, which, who I believe will vacate and Leo, uh, Lee will get made super champion so um, I would love to see him fight but you know I, I hope he gets upgraded no matter what so yeah good of course you are one of the main men in Irish boxing right about now and there was a tremendous fate about a week ago Katie Taylor Manny Serrano how did it feel seeing Katie Taylor wave the flag for Ireland as she did yeah well listen I, I grew up with Katie I was on the same amateur team as Katie for a long time and you know, I've always been one of her biggest fans and it was it was unbelievable this year go out and do what many thought and many done backed against her you know even on uh, seen some Irish people back against her like what are they doing here you know you have to you have to back your fader all the way and they we all did well a lot of us did and and she went out and done the job and it was amazing like she, that's the biggest fate ever in women's boxing what she's done for women's boxing in general is unbelievable you know, she got women's boxing in the Olympics, you know, she's she's made it in professional boxing to be just boxing. You know, I mean she's 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 done that and you know, she's made it entertaining and you and you can see how women's boxing is now, it's it's huge and, and you know Katie's the driving force behind it. So I'm delighted for her. Um I'm really, really happy to see her, you know, achieve all her dreams. I can imagine it must have been a very, very proud moment for Irish boxing to see her. Of course your current status, are you currently still with top rank at this point of time? Yeah, I'm, I'm with Top Rank. Yeah, I'm still with Top Rank. Uh, nothing's changed. Um, the top Rank backed me all the way, um, and they still backed me. So uh, we're still we're still together. And of course, management-wise, how's the management-wise looking? Because of course, the management team you was with previously, or I don't know if you are still with, it's been a bit of controversy. Have you moved on, or are you still? Uh, I've been with Conlon Boxing myself, and my brother, for over a year now since we done our first show in Belfast last year. Which was Conlon Boxing and in, in the field and in the park. Um, so I've been I've been managed by myself for the last year. So management's still the same. Okay, no problem to answer that question. Or well, as I said, Mick, um, it was a thrilling fight last time out with Lee. We look forward to seeing you out next time round. Um, hope to hear you soon on Talk Sweet Podcast. Shout out to everyone that tunes in. Thank you very much for your time, Mick. Cheers, Jack. Thank you, man. Thanks.